Is Messi a traitor to his nation? Is Mbappe about to start a domestic conflict inside his family? Oh no, these eight people are the ones who left their respective countries. And just wait till you see what Diego Costa did to almost cause his death. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about eight famous footballers who betrayed their country. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Number eight, Erling Holland. First and foremost, Erling Haaland squandered the opportunity to design the most lethal offense in international football. Haaland is a monster. He's only, but he's already won the Champions League and the Premier League, and broke the record for most goals in a season. Haaland's record in Norway is as impressive. He scored 24 goals in 25 games. But as you can see, if Haaland had taken a different path, everything would have been different. Even though his parents are Norwegian, Erling was born in Leeds when his father was still playing for the club in 2000, making him eligible to represent England at the national team level. Nonetheless, Erling chose Norway for apparent reasons. Because I had lived in Norway for so long, it was only logical to select Norway. Number 7. Jamal Musiala It was the ultimate betrayal, Jamal Musiala. Jamal's case is quite intriguing. His father is a Nigerian who emigrated to Germany and married Jamal's mother. He was born in Stuttgart. When Jamal was seven, his family relocated to England, and he enrolled at the Chelsea Academy to hone his skills. The national youth team coaches were immediately impressed by Jamal's performance. They were aware of the child's talent. Jamal joined ballers like Jude Bellingham and Phil Foden in the England under-17s. Everyone assumed he'd be part of England's next generation of ballers. But in 2021, just before the start of the Euros, Jamal decided to play for Germany because he was born there, and it felt right, according to him. Talk about broken dreams, the English fans were devastated. At the very least, they weren't losing on both ends. Number 6. Mikeo Seca Mikeo Seca is not a common English name. That's because both of his parents are Nigerian. Seca's parents moved to London in the 1990s and he was born there in 2001. The boy showed signs of being a great talent from a young age, and he represented England at all youth levels until the time came to choose which national team he wanted to play for. Seca was born in England, so his decision should have been natural, but it wasn't that simple guy because the Nigerian Football Association pleaded with him to play for them, even sending officials to persuade him. England wasn't about to give up on Seca so soon, so they also held chats with him. And once Seca learned that Gareth Southgate intended to invite him to the national squad, it was game over. He went with England. Damn, it's unbelievable that two countries are battling over you. Number 5. Kylian Mbappe Kylian Mbappe is a beast. Goals, help, and abilities. Man, he won his first World Cup as a teenager. I couldn't even get a date in high school. Pate was one of the most touted teenagers in the world after breaking into the scene with Monaco in 2016, and he had countries competing for him. His father, Wilfried Mbappe, is Cameroonian, while his mother, Faisal Amari, is Algerian. But you know what's crazy? Mbappe is a Frenchman. He was now faced with a difficult decision because all three countries wanted him to wear their national team jersey. And, in the end, Mbappe had made his decision. But before you make any assumptions, it do is in France. I wanted my son to play for the Cameroon national team, but the football federation demanded a fee I couldn't afford. That was Kylian's father speaking. As a result, Mbappe has decided to play for France instead, after one World Cup, Golden Boot, and UEFA Nations League title. Number 4. Lionel Messi On the other hand, Messi could have ended the GOAT debate in 2010 if he had chosen differently. Messi was already demonstrating his talent to the rest of the world when he was starting in the early 2000s. As a result, there was considerable speculation about his international prospects. By this point, Charles Ratchak, who drafted Messi's first contract at Barcelona, wanted Messi to stay in Spain for the rest of his career. So he began lobbying the Spanish FA to include Messi on the national team. But Messi's form had already piqued Argentina's interest. When they discovered what Ratchek wanted to do, they immediately scheduled two under-20 friendlies against Paraguay and Uruguay, all for Messi to make his debut. He was promoted to the under-20s, under-23s, and finally, the senior team after scoring three goals in these two games. 
Argentina was an obvious choice, according to Messi. But consider Leo and that legendary Spanish team that won the Euros in 2008 and 2012 and the World Cup in 2010. He had the opportunity to ice Ronaldo early on. Messi chose not to play for Spain because he adores his homeland. Number 3. Pepe. Pepe is regarded as a football legend. Facts. Yes, the dude occasionally acts erratically and flips a switch. Seriously, who would want to get into a fight with him? But the truth is that he is one of his generation's greatest defenders. Pepe is one of the first names for the Portuguese national team in international football, and he is still going strong at age 40. But there is one caveat. He's not even from Portugal, at least technically. He was born in Brazil and arrived in Portugal at 18 for a trial at Martino Funchal. Still, after witnessing the kindness of the Portuguese people and falling in love with the country, Pepe accepted the offer to play for the other Celeso in 2007, and she hasn't looked back since. Since then, he has won the Euros and the Nations League, and even became the World Cup's oldest player to score. Last year, he scored a thumping header against Switzerland in the round of 16. Pepe left Brazil because of the other side's love. Number 2. Diego Costa Diego Costa was motivated by hatred. Diego Costa is one of the most contentious players in NBA history, and in 2013 he reached his pinnacle. Because Costa was born in Brazil, he was automatically eligible for the Brazilian national team selection. Following an impressive season at Atletico Madrid in 2012, Costa was called up to the national squad for friendlies against Italy and Russia the following year. With Brazil looking for a new number 9 for the World Cup on home soil, Costa was expected to lead the line, but in December of that year, he dropped a huge bombshell that blew everything up. Costa was granted Spanish citizenship in 2013, and he then wrote to the Spanish Federation expressing his desire to play for the Spanish national team. The ball is in the air. The Brazilian coach, Luis Felipe Scolari, publicly condemned Costa's actions and dropped him from Brazil's squad. Still, Costa eventually got his wish and was registered as a Spanish player by the FFA. Number 1. Alfonso Davies Alfonso Davies only switched national teams because they saved his life. Alfonso Davies was born in Ghana, but he led Canada to the 2022 World Cup. And here's why. His parents are both from Liberia, but they had to flee the country during a civil war and relocate to Ghana. The conditions were no better over there, and according to Davis, they sometimes had to carry guns for their safety. Davies and his parents eventually moved to Canada. After settling in, he quickly began developing his football skills, was signed by the Vancouver Whitecaps, and then got the opportunity of a lifetime when he joined Bayern Munich. Davies debuted for his Canadian national team in June 2017 at 16, becoming the country's youngest baller. He also stated that the Ghanaian Football Association attempted to contact him after learning of his move to Bayern but it was too late because he had decided to be loyal to the country that had saved his life and given him a career. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.